Hello everyone, greetings from India. This is Nirbhay Chauhan from Eklavya Self Learning Tutorials. So guys, uh, today in this tutorial we will cover how you can basically have curved roofs or you can say how you can attach your walls to curved roofs or you can also say how you can have uh, curved uh, walls like this, right? Uh, with various profiles and attach them to your curves roofs or you can say have the inclined attics so like all those topics are covered uh, in this same manner only so we'll try to see how you can basically have such roofs so you can see this topography I think this we have covered already in the previous tutorial uh, you can see that uh, in the previous video there is also card uh, for that video in the above uh, banner in this video you can click for that so now, now let's just quickly see how basically we can create such profiles so for that let's just go to this model I, I'll just close the previous one uh, you can get these files uh, for free like uh, for in, the, in the description feel free to download them and practice on, at your own pace right so now what you can see this is how we have the general walls like right uh, these are regular straight walls now we want the roofs in curved manner so what you can do is the basic fundamental here is we need to draw the profile of that roof first so make sure you're in the BIM workbench uh, let's create uh, the front profile let's switch to uh, front plane basically if I switch on the grid you can see this is the front view right guys so let's just quickly draw the profile you can hit the sketcher which is for create a new sketch and this will be created a new active plane right so now what you can do here quickly is try to think of that geometry right which basically you want to draw for the roof so let's say um, this is the kind of geometry that we have in mind uh, for the curved roof switch on the section view here you can see it like this but here we can't see that overall so one thing more you can do if you remember this sketch is basically at the behind huh, no? this is xy plane you can bring this sketch by doing some offset in, in between of this your geometry so click on the sketch object and go to placement position and if you see this is a y-axis so y-axis you can just give some value minus 20 feet so you can see this basically fits somewhere here right and now you can start working and now if you hit sketch section view this is how you will see if in case you want those walls more precisely uh, what we can do further it's better we bring it more forward minus 30 minus 40 let's say we bring it at front only cool because in this manner we will see overall geometry here so now uh, guys what you do this is like just imagine how we basically want to sketch the base of the roof right and let's sketch uh, the base for the second roof also uh, which is somewhat like with the same sketch you can create any profile as you like right so there is no restriction Th I'm just showing the curve one you can have attic also you can have curved inclined roof also like anyone the approach will remain same so like stay with me right so now what you can do is uh, let's say we want this roof uh, to be around one and a half feet away from this wall so just uh, select the external geometry which is this one do it for the other wall also from here and now let's just give the horizontal constraint click on this dimension let's give it around 1.5 feet similarly do it for the other end also click on this point cool so outside uh, inclinations parameter we have set now also we want um, 
basically <coughs> these to be touching this wall so what you can do is with the external geometry select this line and then you can basically intersect this point with this line from this one coincident one similarly do it for this right now let's keep these roofs little bit uh, with some vertical distance right so let's mark this distance as the vertical distance as somewhere around let's say 5 feet cool so let's make it little bit downwards somewhere like this let's also make the curvature equal for both the roofs click on this first curve second curve and then you have this equity basically constraint equal a uh, constraint click on them so these are also equal now so what we are left with now is the horizontal constraint of the overall roof uh, which is this one uh, let's just give this distance also right let's give it around one and a half it only should be sufficient sufficient now let's just connect this line also because we'll be creating an extrusion firstly out of which we will subtract the walls right so it's quite quick so let's just connect this line like this right so there was some auto constraint and tendency which has been removed automatically that's good now let's just draw simple polylines like this to here just keep it outside beyond your walls basically so that it should be extra and now we will s need not to constrain this overall geometry I'll just make it straight if you want rest should be okay right so this overall geometry we will extrude in the y direction and then we'll subtract our walls so let's just see it how it goes we will exit the sketch right so this is a geometry which guys you have created so now we'll simply extrude this in this direction in the y direction click on this sketch you have the ex this extrude option uh, custom direction should be positive one and then the length you can give around let's say 50 feet should be more than the extent of your walls click hit on create solid also and click ok so this is uh, the overall roof geometry like guys which you have got now what you can do is uh, you can subtract your walls from this geometry I'll tell you two approaches one is a long approach first just to make sure how this works so what you do is click select the extrude option uh, this extrude object select any wall with the control key and then here you have this option which says remove component right you can also basically access this from the modify bar in the BIM object which says remove component so if you click on it you can see that wall has basically uh, has been subtracted like in a curved manner right from that roof object so now repeat this operation by unhiding this extrusion for every wall right so this is one option or what you can do quickly is just to save your time you can club these walls let's say these all these walls into a group so how you can create that group is click on this project which you have at the top uh, click your right click and then you have here create group this is a group which is created you can give the label as walls select all your walls like this uh, right which you want to subtract and then simply right click or you can simply hold your left key and drag them to the walls so now all those walls you can see if you unhide them they are unhiding combiningly they are now part of your walls object right guys so now to quickly subtract this extrusion uh, whose name was basically extrude 002 right so this you can subtract quickly from all the walls so now what you can do quickly is as a shortcut is just select all these walls uh, go to this option called subtractions click on this ellipses menu and now simply choose the extrude object which was extrude 02 in this case click on ok
now you can see <coughs> very neatly you have uh, subtracted all those uh, basically walls easily from the roof object right so this is how you have this curved walls now so now let's just quickly draw the final profile for these two individual roof roofs as you can see they are little bit uh, one is little bit forward one is little, little bit backward so now let's just choose a working plane of this front profile like this let's create a new sketch right select the external geometry like this let's draw a curve just make it like this and then we will make this curve to equal to the external geometry like this let's make this point coincident on the line on the curve basically similarly the last one also and then let's just give the this slanted distance something like this like just rotate your mouse like yeah this is how you got it let's just give it as 1.5 feet similarly this one also click on this option right dimension and just make it slant like this by rotating your mouse give it also as 1.5 feet right uh, need not to define any thickness here uh, we'll tell you how you can do that later click exit right so we want a little bit forward also so let's just make this sketch position the y-axis this is in minus so let's just give minus so you can just write formula here also which is 1.5 feet so you can see <coughs> your curve is basically now like this it has come a little bit forward now just simply extrude it um, in the y direction right so this is around 30 feet so 1.5 feet we are given here so this should total 33 feet so click on this curve hit extrude custom direction positive y, one, uh, y axis with the one value <coughs> it should be long 33 feet and click OK so now you have got this curve right uh, then the second profile also let me just uh, quickly show you uh, which is the same replica of this only but let's just do it for example sake uh, let's just draw that sketch again right set external geometry do the curve thing like this make them equal from here make them coincident the points similarly this one and then let's just give the slant distance from here just rotate your mouse slightly and this value should be 1.5 feet done exit your sketch and this also for this sketch also you want little bit to be offset in the y direction go to position just right here it's already in minus so minus minus should be plus 1.5 feet cool this is done let's just extrude it so this is 20 feet wall like this in the y direction so this should also be 1.5 plus 1.5 23 feet extrude this custom direction positive y with one value and the value should be 23 feet cool <coughs> so now you have got both the profiles which we want to extrude in the z direction right but this won't be simple extrude I tell you why so let's say you choose this extrude option already this is a surface which will further extrude with this one with the custom direction z as one value let's just give the thickness as let's say six inches create solid is selected right click OK so you can see you have got this roof beautifully here but there is one catch you can see this slant this uh, line uh, this is quite this is little bit kind of you can say chamfer we want it also to be extruded in the same sloped manner so what we'll do is let's just delete the extrude for now right 
so we have the extrude surface back so there's an option basically uh, in the BIM workbench only right so if you go to these tools like here also you can see which is face finder or you can go to 3d BIM generic 3d tools and face finder right so make sure your faces are selected firstly let's say we choose these faces like this both of these faces right guys and then let's just to choose the option from here also which is face finder so now these two surfaces <coughs> right are part of this face finder if I just hide this extrude so now we have this face finder geometry right now this one you can basically if you just see here you have a value of extrusion which is zero let's just make it a six inches and then you see the change you can see guys now it is extruded in a very nice manner like in the slowed manner this is something what we wanted right and then we convert this face pointer into a slab object which is a structure object right just to complete your BIM IFC terminology so this was it guys basically in today's tutorial how you can have curved wall mm, geometry and the curved roof attic geometry and how you can join them nicely basically like it's quite simple approach right so I hope you like guys like the video uh, let me know with your comments and subscribe the channel right if in case you want to support me I have a coffee account I have just created so feel free to buy me co buy me a coffee there if you think my work is helpful to you so see you guys on next tutorial till then take care goodbye thank you